Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin with your Butterscotch.com tutorial series on using your new iPad, iPad 101. And today we're going to take a look at the productivity apps built specifically for the iPad. That's the iWork suite of applications, Pages, Numbers, and Keynote, which we can see along the bottom here. Now, these don't actually come included on the device. You have to download them from the, uh, from the App Store, and they cost $9.99 each. So we'll start off with a quick look at Pages. That's kind of the word processor um, desktop publisher application. So now we can see here, uh, we're, we're seeing applications that we're currently working on. We can tap the plus sign to open a new document. Or we can choose to email a document uh, to someone via email. We can sh uh, share it via iWork.com, or we can choose to export the document. In this case, we'll create a new document, and we'll be taken into a, an option to choose from a document template that we want to use. In this case, let's say we're going to go with a recipe. Now, we can tap on the screen to um, select text, and we can now start typing. We'll say it's a, obviously it's a cookie recipe. The cookies are good. So now it functions very much like a, like a typical word processor would. Now, one thing you'll notice is that you need to um, actually flip it into portrait mode to get access to a lot of the menu features. So for example, uh, to change the text to a bold text, so we'd want to select here, drag across, and we can change the text to bold or italic, underline, and we can also change the paragraph indentation. We can have it centered, uh, fully justified, right justified, or left justified. So I'll undo all that stuff. And we can also interact with the images. We can tap an image to bring up these selection boxes. And now we can actually resize the image by pinching like this. If we pinch and zoom uh, on the document itself, we're, all we're really doing is um, changing the view that we take on the document. So now let's say we want to insert a new image, and we want to do it here. So we can tap on the image icon, which is up here, and we'll see a list of all the uh, images we have saved onto the device. So let's say uh, we want to insert that one. Now we'll see the image comes up in, uh, in our um, document. We can tap, and now we can bring the, um, the points in together. We can drag the image wherever we want on the page, like that. Now under the eye icon here, we can also choose, choose different styles. Now this, this, um, when we tap this icon, it'll actually relate to whatever uh, item we have selected. So in this case, we have a picture selected, so we can choose from uh, several different frames how we want them to appear on the page. And we can choose to flip vertically, uh, do a couple of other things here. Just like that. Now, if we had text selected, if we were in a text box, we would get a bunch of uh, text-related options, including some font uh, options. We can make a bulleted list and a couple of other options here. We can also choose to alter document settings here. So we can uh, find a word in a document um, change margins, uh, use the spell check, and things like that. At any time when we're in a document, we can tap My Documents to go back into the uh, Documents view. So we see this is the document we're just working on. That's what we worked on before, and this is the uh, default document that comes on Pages. Now we'll take a quick look at the Numbers application, which is the spreadsheeting application in the iWork suite. Now this one's kind of neat because it actually... Um, gives us a different way to interact with spreadsheets. It's a little bit more exciting than, uh, than, say, Excel or something like that. And it is very, very much custom designed for the iPad, as we'll see in a moment here. Now, it functions very much like pages. We can choose to email or export the document here. We could trash a document by tapping on the trash icon. Or we can add a new document. And in this case, we're going to choose a new spreadsheet. And again, we get a list of templates that are already created or we can choose to make a blank document by tapping on this one up here. So in this case, we will make another expense report. And again, we are double tapping to alter the, um, alter the content in the, in the expense report. So double tap on any section. Now you can see here that we have a full QWERTY keyboard up. 
One, one interesting thing about numbers is if we tap on these options here, we actually get different uh, keyboard layouts specific to working with spreadsheets. So in this case, we get a full number pad. We can get uh, days, and days of the week and uh, months and all that kind of stuff. Again, the full QWERTY keyboard and kind of a, a mathematics functions keyboard here for sums and stuff like that. So back out of here. At any time, we can tap on the plus tab to create a new sheet or we can add a form to our, uh, to our spreadsheet. And again, the eye icon is specific to what we have selected. Um, so we can change text color, uh, change headers, do, uh, speci do specific functions to the cell, uh, word wrap and things like that. Or if we have the full document selected, we can now, so let's say we want to insert a new image, very much the same process we showed you with pages. As always, the wrench icon gives us access to um, the overall numbers settings and we can choose to turn the menu bar on or off by tapping the full screen icon here. Now we're going to take a quick look at Keynote, which is the application that allows you to create and give presentations on your iPad. So tap the icon to launch. Now you can see here it's the presentation we've been working on. As with the other applications in the iWork suite, we can tap on my presentations to go into an interface and see the presentations that we currently have working. We can email or export the document. We can tap here to create a new document, or we can tap the trash can icon to delete. In this case, I'm just going to continue working on a presentation that we already have going. So you can see here, um, you start off with one slide. We've added a couple of, of other slides. So you can see here we have a couple of different options for how our slides are going to appear. At any time, we can tap the plus button to add a new slide. So we have um, options that are based on the template that we're using. In this case, it's the chalkboard template. So we could choose to have a blank slate, uh, a wall of text, just a big picture, or a headline for, say, a new section in our presentation. We're not going to do that right now. And we can also choose to insert a new image, just the same as we would in other, um, other parts of the iWorks application suite. And we can also choose by tapping on the Pages button here. We can actually select different transitions that we're going to use for our slides. So we just select the slide here, and we'll tap on the blue arrow icon. And we can select what kind of uh, transition we want to use in our slide. So in this case, we'll try the Dissolve. That always works. And you get a quick preview of, uh, of what the transition is actually going to look like. We can also choose to add some uh, options. We can change the duration of the transition and change the way that the uh, cube, in this case, is going to flip. Now, these options will change based on the effect that we have chosen. Now, at any time, we can tap on the play icon to see what our presentation is going to look like. And we can swipe our finger to actually make the transitions happen. Double tap to enter back into editing mode. And as always, the wrench icon gives us some application options. We can uh, change the edge guides, which are basically margins, um, turn slide numbers on or off, and also activate the spell checker. So that's a quick look at the iWorks application suite for your iPad. And that concludes part nine of our iPad 101 series. Make sure you hit up the show notes on butterscotch.com for details on everything we've discussed here. And also make sure you watch all the parts in this series. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit Hover.com slash Butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.